What's up, everyone? We are live at Five It's Friday, October 4th. We are in the heart of Times Square here at Broadway.com. I'm Paul Juan Torek. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we're joined by Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Promoting the very closed ferryman. Yes. You didn't but have to say very. Soon to be a film, hopefully. <laughs> soon right? to be, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. There will be coming movies. Movies. Coming to a really series. ambitious community theater <laughs> near absolutely. you in five years. <laughs> Can you imagine the community? No. 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 Hey, someone no. that uh, a, re a repeat guest is yes, here today. Yes, absolutely. Who's here? We have Corey Jacoma oh. here with us. He is in so, beautiful. Yeah, you yeah. was in Jersey Boys. He was in Jersey him, Boys. And now absolutely. I'm going to interview him, mm -hmm. and, we, and he has a special guest with him too. We'll, 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 you'll find it's out. Exciting. But first, today's top five. And we're starting off today with a little bit of sad news. Yes, uh, Diane Carroll, who um, a historic actress for so many reasons. She recently passed away. She passed away um, today, as a matter of fact, um, in Los Angeles. Uh, the cause of death was cancer. She was 84 years old, but um, she was uh, revolutionary. She mm -hmm. rose to fame early in studio films with all black casts, mm -hmm. Carmen Jones and Porgy and Bess. She made Broadway history when she won a Tony for playing Barbara Woodruff in No Strings. She was the very first black actress to win a Tony. Wow. Wow. for a leading actress. Mm -hmm. I love that cast album. It's so good. Right. Um, she broke similar ground on screen. She was in the series Julia and yep. became the first black woman to play a non-stereotypical role on television. Um, and she was also the first black actress to play Norma Desmond on Sunset Boulevard. Of course, that was in 2001. It was the Canadian production. Mm. Uh, so many firsts, so many historic moments, uh, Diane Carroll. Uh, she will, of course, be missed by her family and friends in this community. Also, a lot of people know her from Dynasty. Yes, of course. She was an yes, 80s she was, fashion yes. icon on Dynasty. She, absolutely. She, she was always glamorous, always, always fantastic. Mm -hmm. And this upcoming musical got a little title change today. So this is interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> we, um, so a few years ago, there was a lot of buzz about mm -hmm. Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, the Michael Jackson musical, um, yep. which, which Christopher Wheeldon, who of course, Tony winner Christopher Wheeldon, who directed and choreographed American in Paris, mm -hmm. had been developing. And there were some uh, high profile readings of it and workshops. Yeah. And then uh, it kind of got stalled. Sure. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Google it if you yeah. need to. Uh, and it's to now, but it's back on track. So, yes. so yeah, yeah, producers yeah. are sort of getting behind this. They're saying that the show will come to Broadway in summer of 2020, which is pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but but most importantly, it has a new title. It is no longer called Don't Stop the Again. Now it's song. called MJ. It is, yeah. Starring MJ Rodriguez. It's no, no, no. no. Uh, so it's called MJ. They said that we just felt it was a better and stronger choice than relying on any one song, the title of one song, um, because you would have to really know the Off the Wall album, as I do know every word of it. Uh, anyway, it's being written by Lynn Nottage, who's a very fancy playwright. Incredible, two Pulitzers. Really curious to see what this is. Yeah. We don't know casting. There were some cool names attached to the workshop. Mm -hmm. We don't know who will be in it on Broadway, but um, it's going to be called MJ. And Sing Street casting is officially here. Uh, yes, if you've seen the movie Sing Street, then oh you know why God. so many people love it so much. Have you seen it? I, oh my gosh, okay. of course, okay. yeah. Okay. So, um, so we found out some casting. So it's going to be having its premiere at the New York Theater Workshop. Um, it'll begin previews on November 25th. It'll officially open in December at the on the 16th. Uh, Brennick O'Connor, who you may know from Game of Thrones. Did you have a big role on that? It I wasn't a very yeah. big okay. role. I don't, no. know, I don't know my no, Game no. of Thrones, sorry. No. But it's just like when Mad you've been Mad. on I that know, show, Mad. that's what you lead. Yeah, so Brennick O'Connor will be leading the cast. He'll will be starring alongside Zara Devlin and El Nathan, who you would know from once yes. when there's a little yeah. tide all mm -hmm. in here. Martin Moran, Max William Bartos, and more. It features a book by Enda Walsh, who earned a Tony for penning the book for once. Yep. Um, the music and lyrics are by Carney um, and Gary Clark. Carney, who's once also became a musical. It'll feature direction by Rebecca Tachman, which is super exciting. Um, yeah. And choreography by Sonia Tayek yeah. from Moulin yeah, Rouge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I mean, this is a an all-star, top-notch team bringing and Sing Street. This is also near Theatre Workshop where Once started. Yes, exactly. So it's all, and not only is it a lot of the Once people, but these, it's the same yeah. place where Once exactly. was born. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to see this. It's a heartbreaker, but it's beautiful, and the music is so it's good. It's 80s I believe it is the 80s. But yes. it's like, yeah. yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's I'm so excited. Good. Check it out. And this star power duo is getting back together for one night only. You know, this was surprising. I was this busy all day, so I didn't know this I news know. until I just read it. 
There you go. That. It's been a day. But let me tell you something. Yeah. When I was 15 years old, I bought tickets to the off-Broadway Driving Miss Daisy, and oh, I saw yeah. Dana Ivey and Morgan Freeman do it. <gasps> wow. Look. And uh, now they're doing... Oh, I'm wow. sorry. Morgan Freeman wasn't in it on Broadway. He was no, in, he, he did no, no, no. the movie. You know who was? The guy who played the grandfather on The Cosby Show. Oh, okay. He was great, yes. too. Yes, anyway, yes, the yes. movie cast was is coming together to do, uh, what is it, One Night Only Benefit mm -hmm. at the K Playhouse at Hunter uh, College, November 11th. This is for the acting company. The That's acting company gets cool. very, like, fancy. They, they do. Yeah. Every yeah. once in a while, they just drop in and yeah, have they get a hot stars. Ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Walter Bobby will direct. Um, and busy. I guess he played Bully. Is that true? I think mean, he, he was an understudy. He was an understudy. Oh. Bully's Bully's the son. Okay, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The son mm -hmm. role. Um, the Dan Aykroyd. Will Patty Lapone be in it? Because Patty Lapone played his wife. That's remember? right. In the movie. Oh my goodness. She won't be. I'm no. sorry. I didn't mean to get you excited. She probably won't. No, she's busy. She's busy. Yeah. But you know, it's about Miss Daisy yep. and her driver, Hoke. Mm -hmm. Who takes her to the Piggly, Piggly Wiggly. In the, as they go to yeah. the Piggly Wiggly mm -hmm. and they fall in love as friends. They do. And it's, it's a beautiful story. So. Oscar winning picture. That's yeah. right. It did yeah, win, it the, did Oscar. win wow. the Oscar. Best mm -hmm. picture. Mm -hmm. So now that. you can see it on stage again. With finally. Morgan. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be tapping on the glass and going behind the stripes for eight weeks in this special vlog. Those are Dear Evan Hansen references. Those are Dear Evan Hansen references. Guys, it's sure you happening. That. You've wanted it. It's here. Andrew Barth Feldman is Broadway.com's newest vlogger. Youngest? Um, is he, oh, no, Lilla. No. No. That's, that's uh, Lilla Crawford will always From be. From Annie. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. But Andrew yeah. yeah. is right. I mean, yes. you're excited. Um, so he will be, the Jimmy Award winner will be hosting his own vlog. It is called Behind the Stripes. Get it? When, you know, the polo stripes. Yeah, What's you behind know, them, yes. though? His, his, his skin. Heart. Yes. Well, you know, in his shirt. heart. You know? Knowing all of that. Um, he will be leading the vlog. The very first episode will premiere on October 8th. Um, that's next week. Yeah. And it will run every Tuesday, of course, for eight weeks. Well, you could have told exciting. us sooner. How are we supposed to get ready? I, I'm prep, prep. Prep. Get your, set up your YouTube alerts <laughs> for Behind the Stripes. Yeah. Subscribe. Hit you know what bell. you're doing. Also, um, you know, we're doing this search for Roxy uh, yes. with Chicago. You, you could actually, the next Roxy? this is not a joke, by no, the way. No, seriously. No. You could actually win the role of Roxy, Roxy Hart in Chicago on Broadway. Oh, You'll be Corey, gonna do it. We're going to tape Corey's audition after yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. after this. Corey's entering. Um, and so we have some news. Let's announce it. Okay, right? go so, ahead. So the original uh, deadline was Monday, but it they extended Monday. it a week. So you have until the 14th, right? 14th. You have Get until that. the 14th now to, you have to do a bunch of things. You have to do like the monologue. We need to see. It's, it's not, real. We're not just giving it to anyone. Yeah, this, no. is, for, this um, is legit. And there's a whole process to it. And, we, and we're doing a behind the scenes series uh, following the whole process. And the first episode of that is going live. Any minute. Any yeah. minute. There are enough people well, on Broadway like right hour, now where this is minute. how they got well, here. Yeah. I mean, you can do this. Seriously. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do it. And there's no age <laughs> You could be. You could sit right here. Of all kinds of people. Of so Corey's going to be fantastic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's Corey's. Yeah. What um, opened last night? Uh, freestyle <gasps> Love Supreme. Well, that was not last night. That Two was nights before, ago. That was the night before. Right? Yes. We just put up some of the. the we get all the gifts. All the gifts. Gif. No. We had a whole discussion. The creator said it's Jeff. I don't butter. believe him. Yeah, no. Um, there's tons of coverage. Video, red carpet challenge, the GIF slash GIFs, uh, photos, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things. Also, Tina. Tina's coming <gasps> to Broadway. Tina. That's the Tina Turner musical. The Tina Turner musical. Um, I just walked by the front of house. It's very it glossy. It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. I can't glossy. wait. So, Caitlin, you went to the press event. I you got, did. You talked to How's those... Adrienne Warren? How's she holding uh, up? P they, every, uh, not a single person didn't say that she's Titanic in that role. That's a direct quote from Titanic. the director. They said she is a Titanic. Yeah. A Titanic performance, and people are going to be like, "I saw Adrienne Warren as Tina." Right. I have chills just it's hearing a, that. She's Titanic, but she doesn't sink ever. No, she, no, she no does not. Put that on the marquee. No. Put it on. She's fantastic. She's I'm so excited. She's the best. So I'm excited so excited to see her, her do it again. Yeah. Uh, is that it? That's it. Yeah. yeah. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Thank you, Paul. You too. <laughs> Thank you Absolutely. for stopping by. <laughs> My pleasure. Hey, Caitlin, tell yes. everyone about today's guest. Gladly. Yes, we got Mr. Corey Jacoma here with us in the studio today because he is currently in beautiful The Carol King Musical, he, and um, which is unfortunately closing this month. But we're going to talk all about the amazing run that the show has had and what it's like making his Broadway debut. He was previously here on Live at Five when he was in The Jersey Boys. There's no the in that. I don't know why I said it. But he did that in the national tour. He did an off-Broadway run. He was in... Um, he was on stage in my very own British Invasion. Make sure you follow him on social media at Coco Jacoco. 
I said it right. I had to practice beforehand. Make sure you leave all of your questions in the comments below. And everyone, please welcome Corey and Paul. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? I'm so good. For coming How are you? in. My How's pleasure. it going? Can't complain. Yeah. yeah. What's the sense in it? How do you feel about the change of season? It's I'm like loving a chilly it. Day today. Oh, it's perfect, though. Yeah. It's perfect. Put away the shorts. Yeah. Get out the light jacket. Goodbye. Yeah. Then None. it's going to snow in like three weeks, I'm sure. <laughs> no. So you are new to Beautiful. I am. You, I you, am. You're, you just started your run and you're just, and about, just to about to finish your run. <laughs> no, yeah. so you've been there, what, about a month? About a month now, yeah, okay. and I've got about a month left. And uh, yeah, I, I just wish it was longer because not only am I, I'm, I'm loving the company so, so much. Yeah. I love the show so much. And I'm also, I'm really, uh, I'm really proud of this role. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun to play. And yeah. he's, a, he's an interesting guy to get to dig into. If you really love it, I'm sure, and you don't care about it being on Broadway, you can actually do it anywhere over the world for the next, like, the I'm, I'm life, sure. I'm sure. Because this, <laughs> this show is going to be done everywhere. I can imagine. Uh, more than the ferryman in community theater. Beautiful will be. <laughs> I'd be very interested to see the ferryman. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah regionally. Very interesting. All the local people, all the locals. Um, everyone can have a role. Yeah. Uh, so you play Jerry. I Gotten. do. I uh, do. He is um, Carol King's husband. Yes, that's in right. The show. Sort of a interesting guy. Yeah. Like, interesting history. I remember when the show opened, he was still with us. Yeah. He died a few months um, after after it opened. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting that I that at that time I thought of him as. Uh, someone who's still with us and right. now you're actually not playing someone with us which and is what because I got to I was very fortunate to play Bob Gaudio who's still living yes. and I got to meet him you which was finished incredible Jersey Boys off Broadway right? yeah and uh, but getting to play someone like Jerry Goffin who and sort of honoring his story and you know he, he dealt with mental illness throughout yeah. his entire life and having to well getting the opportunity to shed a light on mental illness he he was bipolar before bipolar was really a thing yeah um and you know had electroshock therapy throughout you know the the last few years of his life and so to to get to shed a light on that and bring some truth to that it's a huge undertaking but uh i'm i'm proud to be able to do it cool yeah. and you uh you went in with uh with um sarah, sarah Barkle, right yeah as, who is as incredible Carol. yeah she is just she's unreal unreal uh -huh. Yeah, um, and she had done it for a couple of years on tour. Right. Did it for a few months on Broadway, and then right. uh, and then they're having her close it out with me, which has been a blast. She's just lovely. So how does it? Uh, this show, I remember when it opened. Like you know, I don't think anyone expected it to. Everyone knew these, these songs were going to be right. fantastic, but it's turned into such a, a huge run on Broadway. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, to to see what Carol went through and and sort of the the years leading up to Tapestry, which right. is one of the greatest albums ever written. Yeah. Um, to see you know sort of the story. That that wove the tapestry. If sure, you will. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah, can we cut that out? <laughs> no, nope, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, just to see that story, it's it's really incredible, and to see sort of the the hardships that she went through that amounted to such an incredible album. Um, yeah. She was a force to be reckoned with, and still is. See, now you know when you're doing a live interview, uh -huh. I try not to swear, and you have to try not to be cheesy. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's really, that's that's my problem. Well, Darren Chris was just here, and he just swore up a storm. Right? Oh, well, I won't. He's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just, like, laid them all out? <laughs> just all the curses. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Uh, so you've been, you've had a steady, like, three three years, right? Yeah, been you did very the fortunate. Boys tour, knock on yeah, this, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you did it on Off-Broadway. Off -Broadway. This is your Broadway debut. So sure congrats. is. How did you celebrate your actual Broadway debut, your oh. first time on Broadway? You know, I had a ton of friends and family there, at which was, just, I told everyone not to come. I was like, I'm going to be so nervous. And no one listened. Everyone was there, which was awesome. It ended up being great. That. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, but it ended up being great. It was really, really nice. And, you know, it was, it was sort of that moment of like, looking out into the audience at, at, during bows. It was that moment of like, you did it, Corey. You uh -huh. did it. It's really, really cool. Uh -huh. um, and so I'm, I'm pretty proud to be doing it, even, even if it's only for two months. Now, you know, um, when Beautiful opened, mm -hmm. actually, we just had the original star of Beautiful here, Jessie oh, Mueller. She's never heard just of her. Here <laughs> because she's playing uh, Loretta Lynn now, yeah. right, in that movie. Mm -hmm. And you have your own um, Jessie in your life. I do. Can oh, we do meet? We? Can we meet Jessie? Yeah, Jessie? yeah, can I hop yeah, out? We don't know how this is going to go. We're just going to see what happens. He's going, he's going, he's going. He's going. on camera. It's <gasps> oh, not I'm Jessie so Mueller. excited. It's oh, not Jessie Mueller. It is oh, this is cutie. Yes. What? Jessie girl. What? <laughs> oh, Jessie. This is Jessie. She's not named after Jessie Mueller. I know. Everyone assumes that's what it is. And I'm like, no. Hi, Jessie. 
So how old is Jesse? Jesse is six months. Say oh. hi. Who did? And how did? Tell me about how Jesse came into your life. Well, Jesse came into my life because we, you know, we always Who's wanted we? a dog. Who's we? My girlfriend, Bethany Tessa, she right is behind the camera. There, yes. um, yeah, we always wanted a dog, and we we met Jesse and just absolutely fell in love. Um, and then I found out about Beautiful, and I was like, you know what? That's how I'm gonna reward myself. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm a big Toy Story nerd, and so if we got a boy dog, we would have named him Woody. Oh. But since we fell in love with this other one, oh. we named her Jessie. She seems like beyond sweet. <laughs> like she's like, the best. Like she's my Henry like does not behave like, like this, hello. but she just seems kind of like happy just to be here. Yeah, she's made for the camera. In, in your <laughs> arms, and I love the big paws. Is she gonna get bigger? Yeah, she's gonna be about. I'm thinking about ten to fifteen pounds. Bigger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's she, she, mm, she This is the best. This is the best. So, um, is it you're so you're a uh, daddy now? Yeah, I'm a daddy. Yeah, you're, you're a, a doggy daddy. Um, is it? What's it like? You're, you're you're building quite a life now in the city. Where'd yeah. you grow up? You grew up in like I grew Florida? up in Florida. Yeah, okay. I, I was born in Long Island, but raised in Florida. Okay. And uh, and then I moved to New York to go to school, and I've been here ever since. Um, oh, now you're camera shy, huh? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, building the life, it, it's, I, I always have to pinch myself recently, especially because, yeah. you know, I've got a dream job, a dream girl, a dream dog. It's been, it's been incredible. You That's know? amazing. And it, it's not lost on me. That's for damn sure. So well, what's the next thing you need? What's, what's like the, what, what are your goals? Oh, God. Oh, my you know, God. Because you're going to, you know, yeah. the show's, when is it yeah. end? October? 27th. October 27th. 27th. Come check it out. October 27th. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I've always said that I just want to be a working actor. I've mm -hmm. always said that. Um, you know, obviously, it, the sky's the limit. Um, but, you know, I would love to get into some TV and film. Yeah. I would, you know, a little bit of everything. I just want to get my hands dirty. You cool. Know? Yeah. Get your hands dirty. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh. My hands what, are full right now. Are there any one. favorite uh, moments in Beautiful? There's, I mean, first of all, oh, you can yeah. just sit backstage and enjoy all that music. It's well, just... that's actually my favorite moment. Yeah. There's, so uh, the most popular song of the 20th century uh, which is You've Lost That Love and Feeling by the Righteous Brothers. That is the most popular song. The most played song of the most 20th played. century. Okay. Yeah, sorry. What's the no, most, most played of the 21st yet? Do we I know? know? Probably Happy by Pharrell or something. <laughs> like, oh my God, God. like Played over and over again. Um, or Dina Menzel singing yeah. like uh, <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Every time I go to Target. Yep, of course. Adele Dazim. Um, but, you know, uh, yeah, there's this moment where during that show, the entire ensemble is... They line up stage left, uh -huh. and so uh, Carol, Cynthia, Barry, and my character all enter from stage left, and so we have to walk through this, this just epic sound of of the ensemble uh -huh. just wailing the the background vocals of that song, and it it is just it like sends goosebumps down my spine. Um, yeah, it's it's incredible. Uh, awesome. On stage, I love. There's a song called "Take Good Care of My Baby," which is just a blast mm -hmm. to sing. Mm -hmm. um, I get to like be a little goofy on stage, mm -hmm. which is always fun because I don't get to show that side of myself very often. Right. Besides now, right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it. I, I'm really, that's really. The yeah, that's a microphone. <laughs> that's just speak into the mic. Go. Can, speak into the mic. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm just loving the show. Uh -huh. Every moment of it. Yeah. Cool. Um, hey, Caitlin. Yes. What are the people online asking? Yes, we got. I love this question. So Jane wants to know if you were to get a tattoo of Carol King lyrics, what okay. would you get? Oh, Jane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jane. Ooh. Man. Well, the question was which lyrics? Yeah. And then I'm gonna add and where. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh man, what? Hmm. There. Uh. I really love. Oh man, there's so many. Um, you have a lot of body questions. though. You can cover. Yeah, can, I can you get the whole the, verse the entire on the tapestry back. album. Can you imagine just... somebody on like <laughs> to tell Carol King lyric. That'd be really weird. I'm trying to think because the first the first song that pops into my head is Far Away, but mm. maybe just because it's the top of the show. But a lot of her lyrics uh, are about love and and the pain of love, and and I don't I don't have any pain. Like, from so love you're gonna anymore. say like, why is anyone staying? <laughs> why does anybody stay in one place anymore? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, Make no sense. Yeah, I can't really think of that, Jane. I'm gonna have to think about maybe as, as we go. Maybe I'll get. If, if I'll come you think back of it, well, we'll the whole cast is getting tattoos on the 28th. <laughs> yeah. well, this is on the 27th. Yeah. Right? So you just have a couple. Weeks yeah, just suggest some tattoo points. Great. Yeah. Love it. Love the it. Girlfriend's <laughs> like, no, no Carol King tattoos. <laughs> Look, please, no. With Carol King, she's actually gonna be yeah. the one tattooing Absolutely. you guys. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that would be cool. 
That I would actually do. If what, Carol Kane gave you a tattoo. Yeah, even if do she it. doesn't know what she's doing, I'd be like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. So Mike wants to know if there was one piece of the set or costume you could steal from the show, oh. what would it be? Oh, Not that man. you're going to steal anything. Uh, no, I... Do you I, like period clothes? Oh, I love... Could, because, like, especially the 1960s with, you know, Jersey Boys. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of it. Yeah, I, I love that style. And so there's a ton of clothes in this show that I would I would love to to have not steal be <laughs> um, given be yeah, gifted be given. Be there gifted. we go um, I, I always ask my dresser I'm like can I have these jeans because I hate shopping for jeans and they like these jeans fit me really well uh -huh. so I'm like I want these um, there's also a shirt uh, like my the last shirt I wear before uh, before my final scene the second to last scene um, it's it's just this sweet like I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, a ruby color, um, but it's like not like bedazzled, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's so nice. Right. Yeah, and it fits well and it's comfy. Okay. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, so if there's an extra one of those, yeah. people over at Stephen Sondheim. Come on, guys, <laughs> come on. If one goes missing, you'll know where, they'll know yeah, where exactly. to Yeah, exactly, yeah. Now now they've got evidence. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, so Jeremy wants to know, what was your first experience with Beautiful, the Carol King musical? Oh man, my first experience was this audition. Uh, was, oh really? Yeah, the audition for this. Oh, it was while you were in Jersey Boys. Fancy. No, or was that actually, done? It, that was done uh, by oh. that by this point. Oh, she's curious. Just What's going on girl. over my shoulder? Um, yeah, I you know I it, it beautiful was always the show that I was like hey, I'll get around to it. It's not going anywhere. And so <laughs> then I get, then I got this audition and I was like all right I'll go see it. And my girlfriend had seen it many times and she was like it is so good you need to see it and I was like all right I'll see it I'll see it. And everyone had always said, they were like, Jerry Goffin would be such a great role for you. Mm -hmm. um, and so then when I went to see it, I saw uh, Evan Todd mm -hmm. as Jerry, who is just incredible mm -hmm. in the role. Mm -hmm. um, and I also saw Nathan Sherrick, who's the understudy, and he is just incredible in the role, too. Um, so th those were my first experiences with the show. Uh -huh. And I saw Shalina Kennedy as, uh. as Carol, and she is just sensational. Um, but yeah, I fell in love with the show right away. Oh, what's up, girl? I love the tongue. <laughs> I, love, I love the tongue. Do you want to get up on the on the desk? Is that um, what it is? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that, that so you got to see a good group of people. Sure did. Do, doing it. Sure did. And this company, especially right now, is just you know, now is the time to see it. It's yeah. it. The company is phenomenal. Are there any other? So everyone was telling you that you should play that role. Do, yeah. Are there any other roles people always tell you you should play, or that you oh, really tell yeah. yourself that you keep saying you want to play? <laughs> I would have loved to play Pometer at some point because, like I said, you know, I don't yeah. get to show my goofy side very often. Yeah. But I would love to. Everybody wants to be the OBGYN. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's so that's your time is limited on that. Yeah, one. I guess so, man. Uh, anything not closing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you want to be the Phantom? I that's would not love going to be anywhere. Phantom, yeah. Uh, you know, Fierro and Wicked would be fun. Sure. Yeah, why not? You why know? not? Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, there's there's just so much. I would love to be in Comfort Way, even though I haven't seen it. But just the energy of that show mm -hmm. seems seems like something I want to. All be a the choreography. Yeah, That'd right. Be fun. Come on. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been very fortunate. I've gotten to play play a lot of my dream roles, and you know, uh, I would I would love to. Uh, you know, if once ever gets revived, I would love to play Guy sure. in once. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right? Well, I know on. you said Steve Kazee was like a, oh, that performance in once God. sort of inspired yeah, you. I, that was where I was like, oh, this is really, really cool. Uh -huh. um, so that definitely molded sort of, you know, how passionate I am about this industry. Um, yeah. Which, you know, I would just like to brag for a second. I did win Playbill... Uh, like their their trivia game yesterday. Oh, congratulations! You know, uh, you uh, get a role I want a goal. <laughs> yeah, waitress. <laughs> what they get? Roxy Hart. What they get you? Yeah, I'm gonna be Roxy Hart now, guys. So just cancel the competition. Oh, okay. Um, no, I uh, I got a golden playbill. Not <gasps> wow. real gold. No, but not made of solid gold. No, not made of solid gold. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. But I got it's bragging rights, which is why I'm pulling it out now. Because <laughs> that's about all I got. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. It's a big much. honor. Something to put in your Playbill bio. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Playbill trivia. Champion. Oh, you are so cute. Yeah. What's up? Hi. Hi. Yeah, lick the table. Clean it up. Uh, any other questions, Kate? <laughs> sure. We can do one more question. <gasps> And okay, okay. So Jared wants to know what are you just gonna miss the most about the show? You kind of covered it, but oh, yeah. a good final question. Yeah, what I'm gonna miss, I'm definitely gonna miss the company. The company is just phenomenal. The energy, you know, everyone sort of, you know, 
hyped me up. They were like, all right, you know, you're joining one of the most like warm companies on Broadway. And I was like, mm-hmm. all right, all right. Everyone says that. Everyone says that. But there's something in the Stephen Sondheim that the people there are just, you know, the energy is palpable and the love in the room is overwhelming. Um, joining the company was my first time replacing without a long, you know, period of rehearsal. Hmm. And so sort of stepping in, I was terrified. I had seven days of rehearsal. And so to step into that, but, you know, the company made it seem so normal and so easy and they were there to shove with love and lift me up in any way that I needed. Um, And they also love this one because she hangs out in the dressing rooms. Jesse just goes everywhere. Yeah, truly. Yeah. Yeah. Except on stage. During the show. Exactly. Um, yes. You know, you, oh you went to Pace, right? Is I did. Right? Okay, so did. what advice? You seem to be doing really well. Thank you very to much. To people like, you know, young <laughs> actors. What advice do you have? What, what, what is sort of your, what knowledge can you give to the people out there who want to see a career what come you together think? like yours is? What do you think, Jesse? Um, <laughs> get a dog. Yeah, get a dog. Get a dog, absolutely, just in life. Um, but I, I would say put the work in. Everyone's talented. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone in this industry is talented. Everyone who wants to be in this industry is talented. Um, put the work in and also be a good person mm-hmm. because no one wants to work with a, a jerk. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll censor myself. I'll censor myself. That's yeah. not what Darren Chris would have said. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what went through my head. I was like, do I want to do it? Um, no, I, yeah, just be a good person because ultimately we're spending months at a time rehearsing for a show. And, you know, if you are fortunate enough to do a long run of a show, you're, you're in a room or in a show with people for long periods of time. And so these people are taking time mm. out of their life. You know, life is long, but ultimately a month, that's a lot of time to spend with the same people over yeah. and over again. So you want to spend it with good people, you yeah. know, good energy and people that you can hang out with outside of rehearsal mm-hmm. and outside of the show. Right. Um, yeah, so be a good person. Be a good person. Put the work in. And also, you know. <laughs> Get a dog. Get a dog. Yeah, that's it. There it is. Yeah. Oh, you found your spot. Is that it? She loves She loves the leg on the lower level and then just entire that. body sprawled out I across. Love that. That's it. I'm in love with you, Jesse. Jesse, okay. girl. Yeah, it's slippery. Yeah, I made the mistake uh, of whenever I say, I'm like, Jesse, girl, and then Jesse's girl is oh, instantly playing. Uh, and I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Corey. Thank it's you my for pleasure. Bri- for, mostly just thank you for Jesse coming. Oh, yeah. You're secondary. <laughs> <laughs> That's always how it is. I walk into the room and people are like, cool, yeah, I know, Jesse. <laughs> Uh, hey everyone, you should go see Beautiful Colon the Carol King musical. Yeah. Uh, it's playing at the Stephen Sondheim Theater through October 27th. Any great Halloween costumes planned after that? Oh, Are you a pro- I, I, I'll probably dress up as Woody and. and oh. Have... <laughs> Done. Into it. That's it. Uh, okay, cool. I can't wait to see your social media and hopefully Done. documentation of that. Coco Jacoco. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Have a great thank weekend. You. You're going to be very busy this weekend and we're Absolutely. Not. We're going to be off and we'll be back on Monday. Boom, Caitlin, baby. Caitlin, why don't you take us? out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at five every single weekday here on Facebook and you can listen to us where we get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in next week when we continue to talk to more of your favorite Broadway stars.